Hello, my stamping friends. This is Renee Novak at BlessedByCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the United States, and I'm here today to share with you another Make It Wednesday card. Today, we're going to create a card using the new Carrying Leaves stamp set and the Sweetly Scripted stamp set. So this set is in the new Holiday Mini Catalog, and this one is an online exclusive. And today, we're going to create this fun layered card using some blending brushes and some are, are in colors and maybe just a little bit of bling to step it up. So that's a card we're going to create. So let's get started with the supplies that we're going to need. So for this card, you're going to need some petunia pop and a blending brush. You're going to need some peach pie and a blending brush. And then you're going to need some of the summer splash and a blending brush. And we're using the stamp set, again, the Caring Leaves, and this is a new stamp set. And I thought it would be fun to use this set in some of the summer colors. So these are all the in colors. And we're going to use the uh, scriptly, uh, Sweetly Scripted Greeting Happy Birthday. And I'm going to show you how to make that just a little bit smaller by masking. You're going to also need a piece of white, basic white cardstock. And that's going to be your card. And then you're going to need three strips of three and three fourths by one um, and five eighths. And this is where you're going to do your blending for that beautiful color on the front. And then we're going to stamp and just create a beautiful card. So let's get started. I'm going to bring in just some scrap paper. Now you can use some of the grid paper or just a piece of scrap paper. I'm just using a magazine. And I'm going to bring in that first um, strip to show you how I use the blending brush. And I'm going to set these aside. So for this first strip, we're going to use the Petunia Pop, and I like to get um, some color on my blending brush, and then just kind of start off a little bit so that you don't have that real harsh look. Now, if you want to go for a marbling look, you can do a lighter and a darker touch for your brush but I'm just laying down some color and I'm going kind of across that strip you can put as much or as little as you want you can go all the way to the top you can bring it down at an angle each um, panel that you use is going to create a different look so that's our first panel and then if you were to do a second panel you would switch out your colors and you would grab your second color and your brush and you would do the very same thing we would just take a little bit of that ink get it on there i start off and then just do your blending and and for the lighter one it's better to go soft and then just go back for more color and you can see, hopefully, in the camera how dark it does get if you continue to blend. And you just have to be patient. This is a fun card. It wouldn't I wouldn't call it a super quick card because the blending does take a little bit of time. But it is fun. And depending on what color you want, you can really make a good blend. Okay, and so then the last color would be the... Um, summer splash and i have all of those colors done and so i pre-did this one and i stamped the happy birthday ahead of time the measurements and the supplies will be available on my blog at blessedbycards.com so how i got that smaller happy birthday is i took the sweetly scripted stamp and i masked it off with some masking tape and then I took my black memento ink pad and I just sauced that up like that. And then what you want to do is you want to be sure to remove that mask from both ends and be very careful that you don't get all kinds of black all over your hands and then transfer it to your card. That's the hardest part about this. So then you just pull that mask off like that. And then we're just going to stamp that straight down and I can put it on our, I'll put it on this one for um, purposes of you seeing it. And then you just stamp it down wherever you want. Oh, put it right side up. That would be good. 
and then just stamp it straight down on your paper and then you just get that smaller version instead of the really long pieces on there. So now we're going to take our, oh, I got some ink on there, but that's okay. I'm going to um, take this and what you want to do is you want to, you're going to spread these out kind of evenly. So you just kind of put it down and kind of get an idea of where you want them to be. And um, before you do that, you do want to um, line them up and then we're going to bring back in our little mask so that we don't get um, ink everywhere. And you can put them however you want, but I'm putting the three like this and I'm lining them all up together. So when I stamp my leaves, they'll be kind of all together. So I'm going to grab that leaf outline from the new set, Carrying Leaves, and I'm just going to sauce that up. And then I'm just going to decide where I want to put those leaves. Now I stamp, stamp the happy birthday first so that I could see where I wanted to put my leaves. And so I'm just going to put one here. And you're going on to both pieces. I'm going to do one there. And then I think I'll do one going this way. Okay, and if you want to add just another little piece, just add it right off to the side there. And that's why we have this extra paper here. Okay, so that is our black. You want to let that dry just a little bit, depending on how juicy your um, ink pad is might take a second or two to dry and then you have your three panels ready to go and now we are going to add them to our card and we're just going to place them so that they kind of line up but they're not going to be right next to each other and then that's going to give us that little um, in-between look and this is again um, just a fun simple but not super quick card Okay, so I'm going to just grab my ink, or I'm sorry, my glue, and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of that. And I like to use the liquid glue because it does give me a little more time to place that on there and strategically move it around just a little bit. And then I can line that one up. And then we can just do the second one. Now you can do the bottom one first if you, next if you want to get it. A more even border but I'm just gonna since I have it laying there kind of for my look I'm just gonna go ahead and do the middle one and then the last one you're just gonna stick that on there and you can use fall colors if you want to use the fall colors you can use really any solid bold stamp will work for this technique Let's just spice that up just a little bit by using a little bit of bling. So you can even add a little bit more to your card if you want to um, just add some bling, different colors that you want. I'm just going to use my paper snips, maybe, to get this off and then just put just a little bit of bling here and there on this card. And then let's just go with the larger one for the bottom. And there you have it. There is just a little stepped up version of that card. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos. And until next time, be blessed.